Portmore too, a lot, you know. Yeah, man, on the Portmore leg. Somebody jump out a limelight. Yeah, man, the coast of any limelight. Wait, another one? A man died after falling from a bus that was travelling on a section of the Portmore Toll Road this morning. Report reaching our news team that the man, who at the time has only been identified as a security guard, was standing on the step of the bus, travelling on the busy thoroughfare when he fell. I cannot believe this. Gyadi no se people him no jik no tea from man and gang and turn up and bus step. Boodoof buff boof. Jap and bus him jelly people you understand. Everybody see when he jump and he just boof on the ground. One big boof in get you know. And guess what? The bus driver say watch on man. Business got to go on. Man them say my view. Whenever they send him go stand up on the step. You know the people them go say my view that kind of sound. Ah she man. But it's the truth, you understand? They never they said him go stand up on the step. Well, I'm a bit there now. Somebody need to call Kanju, you understand? The man, them always a fighter. We don't know where them a fight over. So I see this little picture here. Now, them have something can really fight over, you know? People, we side on a pick. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. I go on my people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in alright. Let us give thanks to the Lord for being healthy, being alive, and because he gives us another day of life. Life is a trip, everybody know that, don't it? Life is a trip. The only problem is that it doesn't come with a map. We have to search our own routes to reach our destination. I'm talking to you, 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 and surely you. Anyway, now, people, one only person thing I got like the news. You understand? So, my guy just started off. Many people know what I want, but what I want. Ball to all coming. Two men and police custody following the seizure of firearm and ammunition during a motor vehicle checkpoint operation in Java Main Road in Manchester on Sunday. The police at about 10.20 p.m. an underfit motor car with two men aboard was signaled to stop and the driver complied. The vehicle and its occupants were searched and a black bag containing a 38 revolver with three cartridges was allegedly taken from the vehicle. The men were subsequently arrested. The police said their identity are being withheld pending further investigation. Tell them what them name. You understand them, my boy, you have more gun. Who are landing up? Let me give the update. Promise a couple will get shot. The police constable who was shot in Greenwich Farm St. Andrew on Friday night is in critical condition and has been moved to an intensive care unit our news team was informed that the medical team operator on the police found two bullet holes in his stomach and damage to his pancreas and lungs yes yes they listen to me all of this could have been avoided but no 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 all the local police feel like when I got trained in school and learned so much. I mean, I'm telling you for the two this when I got road. That's why it's not reaching, you know. But anyway, on Friday night, the constable who is attached to the St. Andrew South Police Division was part of a patrol team that came under gunfire. Yes, people came under gunfire from a group of men. And them come and back and say, I want man them kill out of the group. Man and man always are get away. Anyway, that is that way that is concerned. Let me tell you about the way now. A 43 hour security guard was shot and killed by gunmen in downtown Montego. St. James on Monday. Remember me showing him picture. I'm laid down on the rug in the yellow. Yes, if you don't see it, follow down, come, come look on him picture and the video. Come, have it for your own owner. See it yet. You understand? He has been identified as Dwayne Russell of Bamboo District in Anova. It's reported about 12 15 pm, Russell left his base in Spring Garden, St. James, where he was employed as a security guard by Hawkeye Electronic Security Limited and went to purchase items in Montego Bay. While walking back, yes, people, while walking back to the bus park he was pounced upon by gunmen at the intersection of Strand street and church lane yes people and right they said them give it to him the gunmen opened fire hitting him right in him head you understand remember the man of god for these days the man in the look for sure to in the chest and no foot so he can stay alive no 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 a jelly them a bus the police were summoned and russell was later pronounced dead by the police them bus but but I feel like I'm going to care about the him. Because me look at him on the ground and I see him be dead. You understand? And the people, them don't say my view. 
We are working anything you say. Just like I could not work with anything with me, say. I'm telling tell you about Speng Wang now. A man was gone down on along railway lane in Montego Bay, St. James, last night. He has been identified as Trevon Lawson, otherwise called Speng Wang. Of a Montego Bay address. The Barnett Street Police. My police friend, I'm up at the police station and we all is asleep. So the shooting happened about 7.10 p.m. I'm not really sure about the time because I didn't give me that time. Then I don't know already. Them all is asleep. The police said that Lawson was standing among a group of persons along the roadway when a white Toyota Axiom motor car Pulled up beside him and guess what people they never come for talk. The man them never come for talk. They never done a talking business. The windows of the vehicle rolled down and the occupants opened fire, hitting loss of multiple times before them take them time and drive. We understand because they must the police never either come. I'ma tell you something. The people them say, them say the car or the type of car it is. Me and the say they know the license plate number two, but them don't want to talk, you understand? And them set up the yard for dead. Anyway, the police were summoned. Last one rushed to the Carlo Regional Hospital. Dead, dead, dead. The police said, What's your man? Or up and put this boy up on ice. We don't too want him to stay up on the roadway too long. Anyway, now, paper. Clarendon McGann. Clarendon had the news every single day. You understand? 52 year old Sida Randall, a farm of Silent District Clarendon, has been charged with murder. Yes, people. How this boy a murder, the man? We don't want to know we murder. I can tell you no. He has been accused of the death of 58-year-old Dingle Morgan, a farm at the same address following an incident in the parish on Thursday, October 14, 2021. The police reported that about 5 p.m. Morgan was walking on the roadway when Rindal attacked him from behind and stuck him all over his body with a piece of steel. Yes, people, none of the talk about this already. You understand? The man beat, the man beat, the man beat, the man to sit this to the piece of steel. He then fled the scene. Marcy was assisted to the hospital where he was admitted and it was confirmed that he was paralyzed from the injury received. He later succumbed to his injury. He never had the chance of living. Rindal was subsequently arrested and charged on Sunday, February 26, after a lengthy period on the road running up and down. His court date is being finalized. Is a funeral him should I get? Is a funeral him should I get? Watch it now, paper guess which part my gun. Clarkston, you are going to go Chilani now. A Chilani woman has been charged with arson and malicious destruction of property following an incident that occurred in the parish on Monday, February 20. Charges 51 year old Paulette Johnson of Top Town in Clarkstown. The police reported at about 7 pm Johnson and a man was having a dispute. Yes, people, a domestic dispute to be exact. Had his house when it escalated. The police were summoned and Johnson was warned. According to the police, she later returned. Remember, so man, you know, after they've done, because they come back. She later returned to the house and proceeded to set fire to a piece of clothing, then to the dwelling. The house was destroyed. Hold on a bit, they know, people. Hold on, I can tell you this first. Johnson was subsequently arrested and charged on Sunday, February 26th. So, hold on. This is brother, you have all a six days to find out and find out for head. If really, I tell him the police can come pick up this old germs, eh? All you know, no sense. You just to be homeless. Her court case is being finalized. Funeral she should not get, you understand? One boat box and push her down in our hole. You can't burn up my house and still there run. Ah, that's that six days to be exact? Then all that no make no sense. I'm angry my bang myself because police can't help me. Anyway, now people watch it because I move on with the news. My friend Alice says she's seeking the public assistance for finding the criminal them who kill the criminal. That's what she said no people, you understand? So anyway. Let me show the one go on power, one go on now. Who oh, want help, I can help her. But I'm not telling her about the waste of time, you know. You understand the boy, let me get to the reserve. Move along. Treating on the murder of Kenise Powell, which occurred on Sunday, the 26th of February, 2023, about 2.50 p.m. at Yalas Beach in St. Thomas. We have not um, apprehended anyone with, with regards to the murder. We are still searching for the suspect or suspects involved. Um, we are asking person with information that can assist us with their investigation to come forward. Alison, listen to me, listen to me, good. Many people have done with them, they understand. If you want to mix up, boy, would you get to him get? Yes, you know what he said, them come from the beach and all the people there, they're man, load them full up. Yeah, man, he get exactly what he deserve. I didn't know which part he was supposed to do. Watch your grand power, go, on, go on now, people. The other day, I see country go so boom and roll out the new road traffic act. And I see the people, them take one belt and clap him, cross him belt. We know, say, the people, they're hypocrite, though. Yeah, man, the people, they're hypocrite. Look what grand power, go on now, no. Right down at St. Mary. I see the youth, they're in a car, drink drunk and in friend them. 
them dead off, them never wear no seat belt. How many see the people them say yo, if them they just take one little page out of the new road traffic act, them would have wear them seat belt. Alright, alright, on the look past it, some say okay, I'm look past it to do no. Remember, remember good enough. Me not forget nothing. See it now, now, five years of a temple hall. Without a helmet on them head. If Kanjo decides to watch a man, we don't want no that little nice and nice bike them in the nation. Holy pa people with a ball. But no, see the little boy them the pan the bike, not one of them have a helmet. Maybe, just maybe, me not say the helmet in a probably save them life, you know. No, me not say that. But maybe it stand even a 10% chance of having them three pads if them they have a helmet. Do you them not here? The youth, them not a matter of fact. The people, them on the roadway, not here. Look what go on, pa, what go on. Everything gonna blame Kanju for you. Know? Remember, we talk it fair, man. I don't want nobody come, come drop it in the comment section. But no, my view, it is on Kanju watch. That is why we are blame Kanju who are But well, on you know. The youth are dropping off at the bus this morning without even drink tea. You understand? Was that one Kanju watch? The people, them in the bus, should I tell him, say, yo, come inside and lock the door. But no, 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 on the third of blind eye to it, I watch him out there. I go along like it, nah, no sense, I see it there. Boodoof, bah, boom. Drop like one right breath fruit, drop out a tree. I all I know, I say, if me did know me, that tell him come in. Only they know. Can you depend the bus and see him long time, tell him, say, take yourself inside. But no, 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 no. Who love the antics? Who no love the antics? And who are the same set of people, them? We get up and march, boy, yo. We don't like them rule and the traffic cock. No, man, make somebody rule them, tad man. You understand? Pressure for it, some man. So what I said, I mean, I said, no, me already. I'm not taking it back. Anyway, as I say, road it increased again. My brethren, Lucian, tell the people about one power, one go on here, man. And tell the people about the little survey where you run, about bikers. That no one them here. Had five people dying in Temple Hall. Three persons in St. Mary. Two in St. Catherine. And two others in Clarendon. But the matter of safe roads is something which is cropping up um, in a number of the crashes. Um, the question of road surface, the question of um, some of the roads being slippery, even when dry, is a matter we, we discussed from time to time on the North Coast Highway. Uh, it came up again in the Winston Jones Highway, the surface, um, the decline. Um, and of course, the, the lack of proper lighting, the lack of cat size and other road furniture, which ACP Mackenzie and his team have gone around the island collecting the data. So we know exactly which areas and which roads need to be repaired. The question of whether or not these bikers were caught happy. Were they drinking and driving? Were they smoking ganja before they crashed? We don't know. That's a matter to be investigated. But we do know how we have the data done by our own doctor, um, Carol Fletcher, that up to 30% of bikers reported having used marijuana, ganja, and alcohol shortly before crashing. 